the building that I grew up in, my mom and dad and myself lived on one floor. My grandfather and grandmother lived next door on the top floor. My um, uncle and his children lived on the first floor. My great aunt lived on the first floor of the one next door. My grandparents and my cousin lived next door to that. So it was definitely a family neighborhood. And that was not just true of my family, but of all the families. So when I went to school, not only was I in class with Joe Russo, but I was in class with his cousin, Lou Ladisio, and his cousin, Margie. As children, you don't understand what that all means and how unique it is in a, a big city like New York. Um, but today, I, I definitely look back on it with great fondness and longing as well. I did not grow up speaking Italian. However, I happened to fall in love with a first-generation Italian. Um, she, her first language was Italian. Her mom and dad, who uh, immigrated to the United States much later than my family had in the 1970s, by that point, they had really um, embraced the idea of a hyphenated American, an Italian-American, trying to hold on to the, the culture and the language that they once previously had. When the immigrants came over, they, they didn't have very much. But what they did have, either they brought in a case or they brought in their heart. And one of the things that they brought in their heart was their faith. And so they were able to transmit that faith and pass that faith down. And that's something that the next generation, even not being an immigrant, can still hold on to because it helped sustain that family through all of that time. So the parish of Sacred Hearts in St. Stephen um, is in Cowell Gardens, Brooklyn. The procession of uh, Maria Santissima Adorata is always the second Sunday in September. And it's true, that's true in Mola de Body and true in Carroll Gardens.